Hello and welcome to Kentucky Brew Reviews. I'm Radar. Special K. And I'm the Mingo. And tonight we're doing Juicy Fruit Beer. Oh wait, I'm sorry. It's a Vita Bubblegum Juicy, which it literally looks exactly like uh, Juicy Fruit Gum. And today we're doing copyright infringement video. For oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a little bit of time series from uh, Abita. It has... A minute until they get the season to <laughs> <play> out tonight. <laughs> 7% alcohol by volume, made in Louisiana. Wrigley uh, is going to be like, hey guys, um... That's no. our font. No. <laughs> yeah. Now we all know that uh, oh. uh, Abita is consistently oh, 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 consistently below average. <laughs> yeah, we got one good beer, and we've just been chasing the dragon ever since. Right, they're consistently fours, like four, four to fives. This does look like, but we'll see a juicy you know, fruit knockoff beer above though. average, slightly. You? Well, yeah, <laughs> I'm aggressively average. Wow! Wow! Uh, no, I was gonna say Jesse. Genesee, well, so Genesee, Genesee, which one are you talking about? Genesee is super cheap, brown? though. I got the big cans of Honey Brown for like a dollar. Mm, those are good. Yeah. Genesee is super cheap. They're allowed to be average. average. Too. This yeah. is like $9 a six-pack. You yeah. better not be average. You're about to find right. out. I'll smack somebody. All right, so it might be you. First thing I'm going to say is generally when you have oh, no. banana flavor no, in beer, generally when you have banana flavor in beer, it's a bad thing because um, when you use really cheap ingredients in beer, it comes off as banana forward. Um, this one smells like it smells like juicy fruit beer. Uh, bananas and bananas, yeah. It's, yeah, it's like banana runts. Yes. Yeah, it's very banana forward. It could be good though. They had the banana bread beer, right? I, I mean, mean bananas, bananas are juicy, they right? Had hey, banana bread was Wells. That was Wells. You can you can juice a banana, can't you? I don't think you can. I remember reading you can't. I mean, I'm sure you can squeeze it and get some of the essence oil. Well, you would have to get like all the pulp and shit. Yeah. Out. yeah. It would just be like a weird. It'd be like a, it'd be, yeah, it'd be like a ooze. <laughs> Get you some ooze, some banana. Ooze. Get the banana ooze. The banana ooze. <laughs> oh, that's different. You have a juicer, don't you? Mm -hmm. It's time to do science. I'll go get a banana. Um, it tastes like I. I don't. I was chewing. It tastes like I was chewing juicy fruit, and then I drank a Miller Lite. I think it just nailed it. Pretty accurate, actually. Uh, it doesn't. It's hoppy not very bananas. Like it's what's not, going on here? But it's not that hoppy for it's not. Hoppy. Nope. It's got a little bit of the butteriness too, and that banana aftertaste. I gotta say, it really sticks it's around. It's refreshing for no. I reason. like it. This is mm -hmm. the best beer we've had from a beat in a long time. That's actually kind of a pleasant, uh, a pleasant banana yeah. flavor. Like though. I'm confused but happy. Right. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. definitely fake. The banana flavor is fake. Is all get out. But um, you remember that banana bread beer? Yeah, Wells. Yeah. All right. Very banana up board. Not hardly any hoppiness. Very malty and buttery on the back end, and then it finishes. I mean, the butter, the maltiness, and the um. It's weird because the hoppiness also kind of just like makes it dry. You know what I mean? Yeah, but it's kind of like bubble like like gum. Because it tastes like juicy fruit. Beer, juicy but fruit's not bubble gum. It's juicy fruit is bubble gum. It's chewing no, gum. it's chewing gum. You can't. It's like definitely not bubble chew, gum. But juicy Whatever. chewy gum doesn't it's, sound good. You chew the gum, yeah. That is the strangest thing ever. This might you be know, the weirdest. Not the weirdest beer I've ever had. This but might, it's up there. This might be the best Albina beer. Yeah. That I think. Uh, no, yeah. This this the best beer since Purple Haze. Since Pur Purple Haze, I'd agree. It's your best beer since Purple Haze. This might be better than Purple Haze. Honestly, like purple haze is good. So what you're saying is they need to stick to weird fruit beers. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. They can just do Funkatorium. No, because juice. they tried to do um, blueberries once, didn't they? We all, all, all I know is good. yeah, this one is different. It's good. Uh, it's unique. Now it reminds me more of a pale ale than an IPA mm -hmm. as far as the hop. It's level. a little bit hoppy, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hoppy and banana y the banana really confuses me. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be there. It's supposed. Well, it's it's supposed to be. It's it's yellow. I feel like they were trying to make an IPA and then something went wrong, <laughs> and then they just were like, "Hey, if I give you banana it. beer, <laughs> you make, make a beef you stew. make a banana beer." Beef stew. It's actually surprisingly good. I think I will give this. I'll give this a seven and a half. It's so weird. I gotta give it more points because like, it's so weird. I'll give it a seven and a half because price, kind of price. I'll be to all I'll be to be uh, more this expensive. This beer than it was be. two dollars <clears throat> and twenty nine cents, which for a single, not that bad. For a single, I think for I want to say for the sixer, it was like 
1049 or 11? Somewhere around there. Uh, it's either 1049 or 1149, but I it wasn't just, over I, that. I can't. I can't. But could you drink a whole six pack of this? No, this is. No. I'll bring it out and have one. Bring it out to my friends. You want more than one? Party beer for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I will give it an eight. Like it is really good for what it is, and it's just so weird. But like, yeah, I would only give them one just to be like, yo, you want to try this weird stuff? Like, <laughs> I got a beer that yeah. you need to try. Yeah, yeah. But it's I wouldn't getting, drink all six pack. Of it. It's getting a little bump for just the uniqueness of the product. Um, and I can respect that. I like it. I have no problem drinking it. I'm not a huge banana flavored person, and that's what flavor this is. It doesn't say. Does it even say banana anywhere? <laughs> it probably. It probably wants to be just generic juice. It says nowhere. It says nowhere about um, bananas. It says bubble gum, but I think it tastes like bananas, it not bubble gum. It doesn't taste anything like bubble gum. No. It's more banana forward than bubble gum. It tastes like juicy. It tastes fruit. like juicy fruit. And beer. here's what I think. I think they were going to make a bubble gum beer, and then this came out. And they're like, "Oh, this shit kind of tastes like juicy fruit." Oh, wait, that's gum. Perfect, juicy fruit. Like they already have the label made. Yeah. Up. Yeah. Yeah. So we got uh, ten thousand of these labels. <laughs> I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with eight. I think it's an eight beer, and that's giving it points for being unique. Abita, good job. Yeah. On this accent. Genuinely, good job, Abita. Mm -hmm. I'm very proud of them. I already said I recommend it for the one time. Well, this is my last chance for them because the last few beers we've had from them were bad. Oh, it finally like, came through. And I was like, I'm not going to buy any more of their beers if this isn't any good. And <laughs> all right, I'm down. Because they have they have some unique stuff, but they're never even average. I'll be it has like a microphone in this room somewhere. Right. <laughs> we're bugs. For sure. Um, you're, a you're, bug. you're not. It, it could be the government. The government. The government is always watching. Do you have an Alexa? I do, but they're not plugged up. Ah, my parents just got an Alexa. Oh, that must be interesting. It was hilarious. I'm sure they were trying to turn the living room lights on with the Alexa while I was there today. I'd love to hear your dad cussing at it. Good time. All right. Well, <laughs> that's been our episode. If there's something you would like to see on the channel, you can leave a comment down below. Don't forget to hit that like button and that thank you button. I'm Special K. I'm Radar. And I'm Domingo. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. I think